Women, let's dive in even a little further and go section by section. Not all of them, but some of the ones I highlighted. Let's start with section two, which is get more people back to work. At the State of the Union this year, President Biden touted the lowest unemployment rate in over 50 years at 3.4%. Right now, the unemployment rate is at 3.6%, so it ticked upwards slightly. So how do you get people back to work? Yeah, there's a few steps in this. You know, one, we know that there are people who need jobs, and we also know that there are jobs that need people. And some of our proposals deal with things like improving skills training so that we can address that skills mismatch. We also know that there's folks who have unfortunately been sidelined for one reason or another, but often care is the big issue. So expanding access to paid family medical leave, dependent care, so that more parents and caretakers can have financial security and remain in the workforce rather than having to drop out of the workforce is really important. Um, a lot of our focus is on workforce development, making sure that there's high quality job training so workers can get into some of the in-demand fields that right now are hurting for workers. And then finally, you know, an area that I think is ripe for opportunity, and frankly, our coalition has had some conversations across the aisle with our Republican colleagues, is immigration reform. You know, having immigration reform that secures the borders, that improves the process of legal immigration uh, is valuable because it can strengthen the American workforce and put more skilled workers and, and, you know, even in sectors of the economy like the agriculture sector that are hurting for workers, um, being able to leverage uh, the immigrant workforce, I think, is can be a really valuable instrument, uh, but it requires modernizing our immigration laws. Congressman, can you give us any insight into those conversations with Republicans? What does that look like? Where do you think you can find bipartisanship in this area? I think on the immigration front, you know, the reality is it may be only when there is uh, divided government that there's opportunity for immigration reform. I think we've learned over the last you know, decade and a half that when the parties try to do it, go it alone, it's just not going anywhere. And so I think that there is bipartisan um, appetite by sort of the folks in the middle for steps that would secure the border, that would reform our immigration court system, uh, that would update the asylum process so that we address some of the challenges that we've seen on the southern border, that would provide legal protections and a pathway to citizenship for dreamers, which we've heard our Republican colleagues express a willingness to support. And then, as I mentioned, trying to modernize our employment-based immigration laws so that, one, uh, we have more workers in our workforce, but two, that we're not creating a disadvantage where we've got employers that are playing by the rules put at a disadvantage against those employers that aren't. Congressman, I've talked to Democrats, Republicans, everyone's saying there's a crisis at the border. They want to secure the border. You just said you want to secure the border. So when you say that, what does that specifically look like? Well, you've seen, you know, in the past few years, a bipartisan uh, proposal. One of our coalition's members, Pete Aguilar, and former Congressman Will Hurd had a proposal that did a number of things. One, it called for a mile-by-mile -mile assessment of the southern border and, and uh, addressing, you know, and putting resources towards those policies and tools that might be most helpful. In some instances, that might be more people, more uh, uh uh, Customs and Border Patrol uh, officers. In some instances, that may be the use of technology. In some instances, it may be physical structure. In some instances, it may be something else. But doing that in a comprehensive and strategic way, uh, rather than just in a way that might sell, uh, you know, bumper stickers, you know, build the wall or whatever, what have you, I think is a is a more thoughtful approach and one that uh, previously has had bipartisan support. We also know that the immigration court system where you where you have people who are coming to the southern border seeking asylum and right now the system is just overwhelmed so part of that is updating that process trying to reduce some of the pressure valve uh, at the border so that people can start that process someplace other than at the southern border but also making sure that there's sufficient um, immigration judges that there's appropriate due process rights as people go through that process uh, I think is uh, is valuable and something that, again, has seen strong bipartisan support. We just have to make sure 
that it's put into a package that can be put brought forward in the Congress.